history of Altoona uh, dates back quite a few years, but it started as a, a railroad town. At one time in the heyday of the railroad industry in this area, there were 22,000 people employed. As the railroad changed, there was left over a number of different properties that were once used for industrial uses, a lot of them by the Pennsylvania Railroad. Infrastructure that was put in place, uh, buildings, property uh, started to deteriorate. Uh, it created uh, an unsightliness in the community and detracted from the image of the community. Brownfield redevelopment is critical. We have a lack of suitable, developable land in this corridor. We're between two mountain ridges and the I-99 corridor. Most of the prime land was spoken for. We try to attract new businesses uh, to the area that could be complemented with the skill sets we had and the infrastructure that was in place, including a large amount of uh, industrial buildings. As a healthcare system, we were very concerned that if we were going to make an investment in a former brownfield, that we were going to ensure that it had the proper clearances and that we would have a viable property. For us here at Penn State Altoona, there were two factors driving our investment in downtown Altoona. One is the economics that were involved. It was a good business decision. But aside from that, we feel a very strong obligation to help support this community. We went through the Act II clearance program and got the assurances that we need that we could redevelop. Throughout that whole process, and even today, DEP and others maintain a very cooperative attitude with us to make this a reality. To be able to save a building, a really strong, good quality building, made us feel really good about what we were doing for this community, for the economy, and also to save the building and be environmentally conscious. This is my hometown. I was born and raised here. I have eight children, okay, 14 grandchildren, uh, and I want to see them live, grow, learn, be educated, work, and play in this community. And in order to do that, you need to encourage investment, reinvestment in the community. It's very exciting to see a section of Altoona that used to be limited in use, and it's, it's alive again. I'd like to believe that working with others, that we were key in helping to revitalize downtown Altoona and save some of our history and some of the beautiful buildings there. We've shown success in the past, and we can do it in the future. We believe that we're on the right track, providing for the viability of the Altoona Blair County community.